Hello, busy dads and busy people everywhere. Just taking a little bit of a break from my daily work. Um, my daughter's at school, I've got the place to myself, I'm working from home, getting some editing done. Um, but I wanted to give myself five minutes to share some thoughts that, um, that have been surfacing for me recently. Um, in relation to a question that a lot of people, I think, are asking themselves in relation to their training practice more broadly, whether they're practitioners of the Busy Dead program or something else entirely, which is this. When in my training should I push hard? And when should I be strategic and hold back a little bit? That's a question that came up for me because my default approach when I began with the Busy Dad program was just to push every single session and anyone who's trained with me knows that I have that in me. There's this maniacal impulse as soon as I start training to go all out. It's something I see in my friend Tony from Still in the Game and several others. And the question I've been asking myself is, um, should that impulse be the only thing that dictates my training approach or should I be more strategic? I was starting to find that there was a kind of physical and psychological burnout from attacking every session in that way. The results weren't building on each other very well. And I was starting to get very tired between sessions and a little bit intimidated. I think that if you go into a session when you're already tired and you push hard and you don't get the results that you were looking for, it's very demoralizing. Whereas if you go into a session knowing ahead of time um, that you're lagging and you strategically redefine your goals, you don't have the demoralizing session in the way that you do. And so for morale and consistency over time, I think there is something to be said for at least sometimes listening to your body and trimming back your training goals. On the other hand, there's such a thing as getting soft. This morning, when I went into my workout, a big voice was saying to me, hey, why don't you, you know, you're not feeling so good today, why don't you um, make this another strategic fitness building workout? And before you know it, um, you're never pushing yourself into the really deep waters that you need to push yourself into to make both physical and spiritual progress through your training. And that, I think, is very dangerous. I really believe that it should never be long before you're back in the deep waters. If you're going a week or two weeks of training without scaring yourself with the intensity of what you're doing, without pushing yourself into the deep waters where you don't know if you're going to be able to swim or drown, if you're not pushing yourself in that way, um, I think you're losing out on some of the deepest benefits of training, which is the lessons it teaches you about your ability to withstand adversity, to overcome adversity. If you're not creating adversity and stress for yourself in your training, um, then what are you doing? Today, if I'd listened to the way I was feeling going into the workout, or even 10 minutes into the workout, and if I'd pulled back my goals, I wouldn't have got to where I got, which was a result I'm quite happy with, 311 six counts 20 minutes, that 325 figure feels pretty close now. And so I was thinking about the mixed messaging. On the one hand, last week I was saying, listen to your body, make adjustments. On the, one hand, on the other hand, today I was saying, or thinking, don't listen to your body too much, go straight in. How can we negotiate between these two approaches? Because I think both have a place. But I think if one wins out over the other, you are going to ultimately lose your interest in training. If all you do are safe workouts, training is going to get boring. And you're not going to make the kind of fitness gains um, that you'll make if you push yourself. If you push yourself every session, you will burn out. And you won't make serious fitness gains because sometimes you do need to hold back. So, putting all of that together, I really want to stress that this isn't a um, 
universal fix, but my suggestion as a protocol will be split your training in any given week 50-50 between sessions where you're pushing as hard as you possibly can and sessions where you're being strategic and pulling back and trying to train some skill that will help you in next week's all-out sessions. So it's a very easy way of breaking the busy dad training week into, into those two camps. Mondays, let's say Mondays, um, six count session, I go all out. Tuesdays, maybe seal session, I pull back, I train up a skill. Maybe I want to be able to do EMOMs at a certain pace for the whole 20 minutes, so I do two minutes on, one minute off at that pace, say. Wednesday, rest and recover, so that on Thursday, you can go in primed for your Navy SEAL all-out day. And on Friday, close out the week with a more sedate, though still challenging, six-count workout. Again, where you're focusing on training a skill. Last week, I was trying to train the skill of two-minute six-count sprints. And that would be a way I would suggest of sandwiching those two workout approaches. Every session will be hard, but some sessions will be downright terrifying and will take you to places that you couldn't go unless you pushed yourself, and some sessions will be safe. Um, like I say, we should constantly negotiate. We should be open to changing things up if you feel good on a week. Do three or four attack sessions. If you feel really under the weather, say, make the whole week safe. But never, 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 my friends, let more than one or two workouts go by before you're pushing yourself again. Hard work, hard work, hard work is the only path forward in our training. So I hope that that uh, nuanced approach, maybe a bit more nuanced than approaches I've taken in the past, proves helpful to some of the people watching this. Thanks as ever, my friends, for all of your support, and we'll speak again soon.